there is no other God like our God. But to start out, I want to talk about there being no other movie like the movie Cool Runnings. I'm going to start out this with a quote from the movie Cool Runnings that I absolutely love. And it's a moment between two characters. One character's name is Junior, and other character's name is Yule. And what's happening is Junior is having a moment where he has to make a decision. And he's not exactly sure if he's ready to make that decision and to have that conversation he needs to have. So Yule is with Junior. And they're standing in front of a mirror. And this actually, this quote inspires me for how I should kind of get to my mirror in the morning. And so this movie Cool Runnings is the story of a, is a true story of the first ever Jamaican bobsled team. So Yule is with Junior and they're in front of the mirror and Yule says, Junior, because it's Jamaican, because they're Jamaican. So I'm going to do in the Jamaican accent of the quote. He says, Junior, when you look in the mirror, what is it that you see? And Junior goes, I, I, I don't know. I see Junior. And Yule says, no, look in the mirror. I will tell you what I see when I see you. I see pride. I see power. I see a bad Junior who won't take no crap from nobody. And in that moment, Junior says to himself, I, I do see pride. I do see power. And he begins to, uh, to see himself in the same way that Yule was seeing him in the mirror. And he gets to this moment and has this confidence where he's able to do what it is that he needs to do. And so all of this brings us to a question. And that question is, when you look in the mirror, what is it that you see? Of course, each and every one of us at some point in the day, whether we like to or not, end up in front of a mirror. And the conversation that we have in front of that mirror is important. What is it that you see in that mirror? What is it that reflects off of that mirror back to you? And what I am going to suggest, spoiler alert, is that what we need to see, what we need to hear are the words of Jesus is the truth of Jesus are the same things that God says and sees when he looks at us. So what are those things? Because unfortunately, I believe that for too long, too many of us look at that mirror and we <laughs> say untruthful things to ourselves. Too often, we get to the mirror and we're just letting our insecurities bounce off that mirror back towards us. Or maybe what we're hearing are the words of other people and their chatter about us. Or on our worst day, the thing that we probably see when we look in the mirror and things that we hear are actually from the enemy. So what is it that we should see and we should hear when we step to that mirror every day? Well, there are many, many hints at it and suggestions of it in the New Testament, but the one that I really love and the one that I come back to over and over again is in the book of Ephesians, which is really a letter from the Apostle Paul to a church that he's trying to encourage, trying to get them ready to do what it is that they need to do. And in Ephesians, we're, I'm going to read a few of these verses that speak to this idea of what it is that God sees when God sees us. And so it's Ephesians chapter 1, starting at verse 3, and it goes like this. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. That phrase right there, united with Christ, is one that blows my mind. It's one of the most mind-blowing ideas in the New Testament. And what it is suggesting is that when Jesus lived his perfect life, died and rose again, what he did was he became the mediator between God and us. And so what he did is he took away the punishment for our sins, which is the separation between us and God because of our sin. He stands in the middle. And so when God sees us, he doesn't see just us. God sees us through the filter of Jesus. When God looks at us, God sees Jesus within us, not your mistakes, but Jesus. And so I'll keep reading, and some of the things that God sees is said in here. It goes that even before he made the world, 
God loved us and chose us in Christ. And so what I love about that is that before you were even born, before you did the best thing you ever done and before you did the worst thing you ever done, God chose you. He chose you. And what did he choose you towards? He chose you so that you could be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do. And it gave him great pleasure. So the next time you're in front of a mirror, maybe before you go to bed tonight, when you're standing there, what if? You said some of these things to yourself, not in a Jamaican accent, but you were in front of that mirror and you said to yourself, I see love. I see adoption by the creator of heaven and earth. I see grace. I see power from the Holy Spirit within me. The same power that rose Jesus from the dead is within me. What if you really looked in that mirror and said that you see Christ? I think that that could change the way that we see ourselves. I think it could change the way that we have the ability to interact with each other, to interact with our world, has the ability to change our circumstances, whatever circumstance that you're in. Whether you are here right now and you're missing the friends that you have that bring so much joy to your life, whether you are without the job that you found identity in, you found a reason to get up in the morning, whether you are without the family members that brought you through the times that you normally go through, You can look at yourself in the mirror and see Jesus. I think if you did, you'd have a different conversation in the mirror tonight.